Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be discussing this Altoids survival kit here. Um, I actually designed this kit to, with the intent of going out into the wilderness and um, spending a night there uh, living off the elements. So this kit is specifically designed for that purpose. Now without further ado, let's get into it. First thing about this kit is I've got this duct tape squash clamp on it. So um, this just prevents the tin from opening in any way and it also allows me to carry a reasonable amount of duct tape with me at all times. Um, this is a generic waterproof seal that I've got on it just using insulation tape and you can pull this off easily and reuse it multiple times. So let's get into the content of this kit. Alright, so um, we open it up, it's quite full of stuff and you'll immediately see um, the few items which I've not displayed on this channel before. Um, most notably is my new Leatherman Squirt multi-tool. But before we get into that, let's unpack this kit tin. So first thing we've got here is a signal mirror. Um, this is made from the back of an old CD, as you can tell. Uh, very, actually very useful signal mirror, incredibly thin profile, which is great for these small survival kits. Also got a plaster. Um, this is useful just for any minor cuts I might sustain over this night. Um, that will bandage me up pretty well. We've also got this length of wire. Uh, I can't quite remember how, many, how much wire is in here, but I think it's um, roughly a metre. So that will help with uh, snare building and also building the actual shelter itself. So I'd recommend putting wire in any survival kit. Uh, and here we've also got some of the essentials, three paper clips. Paper clips are just an incredibly all-round useful item. Um, they have a range of uses from lock picking to just another way to get wire. Um, so I always include paper clips in any kit that I can. Um, but without having this as an exception. I also included three waterproof matches and three non-waterproof matches as a backup fire starting source and that's attached to a razor blade here. I originally had them attached to a striker but that um, actually wears down the match heads over time so I scrapped that idea and just put it on the back of this backup razor blade. As you'll be able to tell there's a lot of redundancy in this kit which I think is good because you know the old saying two is one and one is none so I've sort of taken that to heart in this kit. Um, this is a mat, the match striker here. Uh, I've been experimenting with just using half a striker and that works just as well so I'm going to keep uh, that rule with, for all my other kits. Uh, I've also got this safety pin which is another essential that I include in any kit. Uh, safety pins can have a variety of uses from uh, fishing hook, sewing needle, repairing clothes. There are many uses for safety pins which is why I always have them in my kits. They're just so small. I've also got here this small tube of Vaseline. You can uh, uh, sort of mix this with the cotton wool that's in this tube here and create a really great fire starting source. I actually made up a whole bunch of it uh, in here and to put in my survival kits and it's incredibly good at uh, lighting fires. It lasts, I think I recorded it, it lasts 12 times longer than normal cotton wool. So that's a must have in any situation. And of course these are in the waterproof uh, straw straws that I use for lots of the items in my kit. We've also got uh, a small folded up straw just folded all the way down and compressed in pliers. Uh, you can use a straw for many things from filtering water with cotton wool inside. Uh, like I said in the previous video I would not recommend doing this unless it's an absolute necessity but straws are just a generically useful item that I like to keep in my kits. Please remember also that this kit is catered specifically just for one night, so um, it might not contain everything necessary in a survival situation. This is another one of my homemade spark wheels with uh, inbuilt tinder in the storage here. And so yeah, you just you can just one hand operate it and then you just spin the wheel and it might not come out very well on the camera there, but it produce, produces a nice amount of sparks there. It's very easy to make from any lighter, so you can find lots of tutorials like that for these on YouTube. We also have in here another regular in my survival kits, 
uh, tampon. This is a great um, way to light fires. Obviously, I'm not a woman, but if you were, you could also use it as a tampon. Uh, again, mixed with this Vaseline, create, create an incredibly um, versatile fire lighting source. So I'd re recommend using these t tiny ones in any kit. I've also got a pe small pencil here. Uh, this is for writing on the note paper that's in the bottom of this kit. I include this in any, you know, nearly all of my kits. I just find it such a useful way to keep notes, write down observations around things about things around you, or even if you've got waterproof paper like there is in this kit, uh, you can leave notes uh, attached to trees for directions to rescue. So that's why I've included a small cut down pencil in my kit. Next up, we have uh, the small tube, which I don't think I've featured before on this channel. Um, if you tip out the contents, you can see it's got a variety of things in here. We have two small safety pins, which are primarily used for clothing repairs. Uh, we've got a small homemade pair of tweezers, make them from a paper clip, relatively easy. And also a pin and a needle. Obviously, these have pretty straightforward uses. But remarkably, the most useful thing out of that is this here. This can actually be used as a backup whistle. I won't demonstrate it now because it's quite loud, but if you blow sideways uh, along this edge, it creates a piercing whistle sound. So I found this actually to be the most compact whistle I had, so it's quite um, a versatile instrument. I've also got um, a, a small tablet of hay fever medication. This is just for and during the morning. I usually get hay fever if I'm sleeping outside, so this will be a way to combat that. But of course, if you're making your own kit, you can include any other type of prescription medicine you have. This is a small tie um, for any loose cordage that I have. Um, I'll show you that later on in this kit. But yeah, these are very small useful items as well. And here, if I can get it out, we've also got um, my fire steel with striker. This features in a couple of my other kits. Um, but it's a great fire starting option. I use this often. Uh, so it's quite worn down, but yeah, you just and so I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but uh, it's a great way of starting fires. I've also got a small pair of tweezers, which is taken from my Victrinox Classic here. Um, yeah, obviously a great small form of tweezers. Uh, here I have my Phoenix E01 flashlight. This is an incredibly good flash flashlight for its, side, for its size and incredibly durable as well. Um, might not be able to tell here, but if I just turn off the lights really quickly. You can see, if I can turn it on, that is quite a bright light. So this is um, great. Not not usually something I'd recommend keeping in a uh, survival situation in a tin like this, but just since it's overnighter, I thought I'd include this. Next up in this tin, I have a small plastic bag. I say small, but that's uh, how big it is when it's rolled up, but it's actually more than a five litre plastic bag unrolled. Um, so this is, again, a very useful thing um, in this survival situation for water carrying and storage. I also have two Panadol um, tablets here, just in case I sustain a, a minor injury and need some pain relief. Um, that's what that's for in there. Um, getting down to the last items in this kit, um, I'll finally show the Leatherman Squirt the PS4. Um, I did some a lot, quite a lot of market research on this, and I found this one definitely to be the best uh, knife out there for its size. Uh, I really like Leatherman; they make incredibly smart knives, um, and this one is no exception. You can see it easily unfolds into. We've got uh, needle nose pliers. Um, normal regular pliers. We've also got wire cutters here um, and obviously it's spring loaded so you can use it one-handed uh, which is a necessity for me um, when using pliers. I'll have a full review um, of this knife later on on my channel but this is just a brief rundown of its features. Uh, we've also got a knife here which is incredibly sharp, sharper than my my Gerber knife actually which I was quite surprised by. Uh, we've also got a metal file and a wood file on the back there. Uh, just good useful stuff there. This tool here I quite like because it actually 
it doubles up as a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver because of that small end. So I thought that was very cool design. Uh, we've also got a flathead screwdriver here with a bottle opener. Um, on this side we have got scissors, which great small tool in any kit, any um, multi-tool actually. And there's a, also a key ring uh, that folds out of in there. I won't get that out now, but yeah, that's the Leatherman Scrap PS4, one of the best uh, knives out there for its size in my opinion. So let's move on to the next thing. We've got uh, my trademark 2 meters of dental floss. A great source of cordage, um, useful, useful for sewing or fishing. I include this in most kits because it's incredibly skinny and very small. And just wrap around a paper clip. So you've got an extra paper clip in there if you need it. Uh, also another essential thing, especially for an overnight trip, is this. This is actually 6 metres of nylon cord, um, which I primarily want to use for shelter building. Um, tying logs together, this is going to be a great uh, resource for that. And once again, it's tied around a paper clip, so if you use it all up, you've got another paper clip in there too. Now down to the last items in this kit, I've got an antiseptic cleaning wipe, just um, to, uh, to uh, cater for the first aid needs that I might have out in the wilderness for the night. Uh, this will be a pretty useful item. Uh, I've also got this... Um, sheet of aluminium foil, I'd recommend putting this in any kit that can fit it because tin foil is just incredibly useful across the board. You can make bowls out of it, you can use it as a windshield, uh, there are so many things you can use tin foil for. So I'd recommend putting that in any kit which is why I've got it. And last but not least, um, this is waterproof paper, it's also grease proof um, and so you can actually just uh, wipe off any pen, so it means that you can, oh sorry about that, um, it means that you can uh, easily wipe off any pen, uh, so it's effectively just a reusable piece of paper. Um, this is just in case any water gets inside the kit, although it is waterproofed, but also so that I can um, write messages on it and pin it to a tree even if it's raining. So I found this to be an incredibly re um, useful resource, and you can get it in any um, waterproof notebooks or usually at your local stationery store you can find something like this. And last but not least uh, is the upper east tin itself. You can use this as a container for water, boiling water, boiling um, anything, boiling, um, heating up a bandana to make char cloth. Uh, there are very many uses for this. You can gather tinder in it um, which is why well, it's a great versatile kit. And that concludes my Altoid survival kit overnighter um, tin video. I really hope you enjoyed and if you have any suggestions about stuff that I should put in future kits please um, re uh, reply down in the comments below uh, and if you really love the video make sure to like and subscribe. Um, the, any support is greatly appreciated um, as I'm starting out on YouTube. So thank you for watching and goodbye!